Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here. And um, just as I was wondering what I was going to do today, I got a parcel arrived. Now I shut, get rid of my dress. And it says, I love emu. So this is some happy mail from emu because um, I may start to stock them. But um, I did hit a little bit of a snag. And that is that, um, well, <laughs> they the costs are a little too high to be competitive. But I'll get in touch with them and see what they can do about it. So this is, um, this is a little, um, well, I need some neck light. Here we are. Excuse me a second while I get the neck light. Uh, this is a sample box that they send out to uh, companies who are interested in stocking them. So, um, oh, hair in the way. So there's a little bit of a cross section of everything. Now, what does it say, actually? Um, it says, let your creativity run wild with emu. Okay, so there's this. This is a big ball. Wow, it's so packed in. It is tight. And this takes up a lot of the space, as you can appreciate. Now, this is Emu Classic Aran with wool tweed 400 grams of this wow and it feels nice and soft i have to say although it's with wool sometimes with wool can mean and sometimes it just means hmm, and sometimes it means wow i can't tell wool this one is more hmm. <laughs> if that is that is the crochet rocks official uh woolometer there you go so um this is called Sandstone Tweed and the colour is 221. It's a 400 gram, as I said, approximately 8, 840 metres, 919 yards and 8% acrylic, 15 wool and 15 viscose. And it is machine washable, dry cleanable. It's got an A symbol, no idea what all those mean. Tumble dryer. Um, I guess, yeah, normal. You can do it on normal. Um, wow, that's gigantic. And quite a neutral colour to send out to people. So that's pretty cool. Wow, big, big ball. Okay, then there's lots of smaller balls now. So this one's a 100 gram ball by the looks of it. And this is classic tweed chunky 100 grams. Now I like the colour of this. It's like a really light grey. And it's got these kind of flecks or naps in them as they call them. And it's got all different shades of black and browns and beiges. But it's not overly loaded with them. So it's quite nice. And there's a brown, you can see brown on the back, these little little naps that stick out. 100 grams is approximately 150 metres, uh, 64 yards, 80% acrylic, 15% merino and 5% viscose. It actually does feel a lot softer than the other one. Machine washable, done. they can't do nothing else. You can't iron it, tumble dry it or bleach it as if you'd want to. But uh, this is colour number three, grey. And um, yeah, chunky, so a bulky five um, across the pond. And there is the strand. So you can see, um, wow. I was, I was thinking of making something and I was searching for some yarn to make it with. So we never know, one of these balls might end up being Wow, I still can't get over how big that is. It's gigantic. It looks like a little yarn ball, but, you know, the same sort of vibe as a normal yarn ball, but it's gigantic. And it's not like I haven't had big balls before, <clears throat> as the actress said to the bishop. Okay, hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, so this one is probably something I used when I was a little girl learning to crochet because the, the brands that were around at the time were Emu, Peter Pan, Wendy and Robin and Peyton's. So I want Serdar, but that was too expensive just to sort of get your kid to mess around with. So I didn't get much Serdar. But this is Emu Treasure. 
and it is lovely it's very soft let's have a little look it's a DK weight 50 gram ball and this is called baby blue number 506 and it has uh, 163 meters 178 yards 55 percent nylon and 45 percent acrylic it's machine washable tumble dry uh, dry cleanable and tumble dry is cool oh cool iron and the dry clean is a p whatever that means i have no idea but it's the symbols for the dry cleaners so if you had to dry clean it you could but that is so cute and for a dk that's not bad in the way of meters and yards is it it is quite a fine one as you can see now to me that would be it'd be kind of like a four ply but that's that's beautiful that's lovely that reminds me of when i was a wee girl and this one is emu cotton dk and this is a hundred gram ball it's a really nice kind of sage light sage i'd say it's um it's not mint but it, it is this kind of pistachio would you call it pistachio i don't know let's have a little look what do they call it pistachio <laughs> well there you go it's called pistachio and it's 208 meters 227 yards 100 percent premium cotton it's machine washable cool iron dry cleanable um and again the p symbol and um it's beautiful it's really nice i like the pistachio i have to say it when i put it here it looks more minty but it is more of a darker it's this color yeah it's that's the pistachio. So far, he's so goody. What's this one? They seem to be into the greens. This is Emu Classic Super Chunky, so a super bulky, a bulky six. Well, it's a hundred grams. Look at that colour, isn't it green? I mean, it's really green. Let's guess the colour for this one. What would you say? Oh, I'd say um, toxic waste. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not called that. I think they should. It's called 181. <laughs> they copped out of naming this baby, I tell you. But it is very, very green. It's not quite a jade. It's more... It is brighter. It's about that colour when... About there. So it's an interesting colour. I don't dislike it. It's just very green. Okay, so did I tell you all the gubbins? Not sure if I did. 107 metres. 117 yards, 100% premium acrylic. It is machine washable and dry cleanable and tumble dry, but you can't iron it or bleach it. I don't know why anyone would want to bleach it and I love the smell of yarn. It's, it's kind of more, although I always say wool smells or yarn smells nutty, this one is definitely a little bit more pungent than some. Okay, so this is cute. This is a diddy little ball of Emu Treasure Little Dots DK in a 50 gram ball. And it's got like blue and, blue and red and white. So red, white and blue. Very patriotic. So let's tell you about this. It's called Row Your Boat. Colour number one. And it is approximately 165 metres, 180 yards, 55% nylon, 45% acrylic, machine washable. You can cool iron it, you can dry clean it and you can tumble dry it. So it's quite versatile, a little ball. And um, again, I'd say more like a, a four ply. It's more like a traditional kind of weight, I think, you know. Um, having said that, some companies are thinner. That is definitely, definitely thinner than the dk's that i use i would say it's more like a four ply sport weight and again so was this one you know they are quite thin strands you know just a little bit i mean some dk's are quite hefty right, i don't want to blind you and i need to okay what else have we got this one oh that's an interesting color as well this one is a classic aaron uh, emu classic aaron so a four weight worsted weight yarn it's a nice color i've i made a blanket in these kind of colors i gave it to my sister it was the chevron one 
one of the chevron ones I made actually it was just a chevron in the pattern it wasn't a traditional chevron if I can remember I'll put a link at the end to that one it's called biscotti this one or number 111 100 grams gives you 210 meters or 229 yards and it's 100% premium acrylic and you can machine wash it dry clean it and tumble dry it no ironing isn't it weird how some yarns you can and some yarns you can't oh it smells amazing it smells beautiful so it is kind of this color i like it i like biscotti you know the colors i would not choose myself they are and i always end up liking them so this is another little baby ball it is called um emu treasure little isle so it's kind of a fair isle dk again but very thin for a dk i'd say more if if it were me i would treat it as a sport weight it's a 50 gram ball and it has some gorgeous colors in so it's not just pinks with a little white it's got some orange to give it a little bit more of a pop i like that this is called melvich number one melvich that's a strange name isn't it anyway 50 grams gives you 165 meters 180 yards 55 percent nylon and 45 acrylic so again machine washable cool lion dry cleanable and tumble dryable but that is very small writing so sorry if you looked at the top of my head at least i did my hair so you didn't really love to look at my roots that time but yeah, it's very, very small writing. I'll show you. I was kind of, um, there it is. I was, I was, it probably looks bigger on the screen, but I was really having a bit of a squint. But I do like that one. That's nice. I might look into some of these then. Um, although at the moment I am making space for new yarns. Again, we've, oh, that's pretty. This is Emu Classic DK. So we've had a classic every sort of size that they do. But this one is a minty green. That is a pretty, pretty colour. It kind of does kind of look uh, teal, doesn't it? Um, it probably is a bit of a teal. Uh, 103 is the colour name, soft mint. And approximately 282 metres, 308 yards, premium acrylic, machine washable. You can dry clean it and tumble dry it, but the rest is a no-no. And that is pretty DK. I like that. You see, again, is it thin? It does seem quite a thin DK. Some are, though, aren't they? I mean, I can remember Derrimore's. Derrimore's was really thin compared to other yarns. And I think this one is a little bit too. It's. I would use a really small hook with that, like treat it like a four-ply, like, like I said before. So what else have we got? We've got a couple of things, and I've got a little welcome book from them with all of their terms and everything else and uh let's have a look i think that was a pattern there's an awful lot of bump to read so obviously i i've got some more yarn in a sec as well so this is dear potential new customer a little bit of a history emu is a quintessentially british yarn brand first appeared in 1940s and went on to become one of the best known names in hand knitting for decades that is actually true Anyway, we won't go on. But yes, it was. And I remember when I was learning that um, was one of the yarns. Oh, that doesn't look nice at all, does it? Um, okay, that's just their terms. Let's get to the... There's lots of them, isn't there? Just a ton and half of terms. Price list. Okay, so we've got a few little uh, freebie pattern got a little pattern there and we've got some color charts for all of the different yarns that they, they've got color charts galore and all of the ones they've sent me there's the color charts so that's quite sweet isn't it a little pattern um oh actually it's for the blanket not for the uh, little top but it's for the blanket so that's quite nice and it all fits in this nice little um, folder. Most of them send those out, to be honest with you, but not all send the little box of 
goodies. Um, that's quite unusual to get that. So now these are the two that I managed to buy when I went to the. Sh I did my yarn quest, and um, the lady that put me on to these. Um, this was what I managed to buy, but obviously not these colours. So that's pretty good. I've got another example, but this one is the um, Funfair Swirl DK, and I don't think I bought any of this one. I'm not sure. It's on there if I did. But uh, fun fair swirl decay, and this is where are we losing the neck light? Approximately four hundred and fifty meters, four hundred and ninety-two yards, because it is a hundred and fifty gram cake, and you can machine wash this. You can dry, dry it flat. That's it. Machine wash and dry it flat. So not as durable. So it's a DK weight, and they recommend a four millimeter. Uh, is that hook or needle? They're needles, but similar sizes, really, I suppose. And this one is called teacups. Teacups, because it's all the fun of the fairground. Fun fair teacups. Um, yep, yeah, so uh, what else have I got to tell you about this? Anything? I think that might be it. Premium acrylic, did I tell you that? I'm not sure. The actual yarn band's quite loose. I feel like I'll lose that at some point. But there you go. That's teacups. And there is the strand. So I've got a feeling this feels like a little bit thicker DK than those others. And this one is my favourite of their yarn. And this one I did see in that shop. I did buy some. I might have even bought the same colour. I think I did. So this is Helter Skelter. Again, fun fair, but called... Helter Skelter. And this one is 100 grams. So it's 360 metres, 394 yards, 100% acrylic. It is machine washable, but that's all. And this number is called 2. And the actual yarn does have a name. It's called Zap. Yep, they've got some strange names. I like them, though. I like them. But this one is Zap. And I like the colours in this. It's very, very pretty. So that is my little welcome box. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? There's quite a lot of yarn in there um, packed in. It's all packed out solidly with this gigantic ball taking up half the space and the rest of it was that. So tell me, what's your favourite one? I have to say I really like this because it's got those like oranges in it as well. But I also obviously love these because I did buy a couple. I've not seen this one. I don't think I bought any of that. I bought a James C. Brett one instead from the lady uh, I was um, whose shop it was. So, um, yeah, I'm quite impressed, actually, that they've sent me a good cross-section of um, all of their yarns. Because I've had some in the past that I wasn't that impressed with. But maybe I just got the wrong, the wrong yarn or maybe it was early days but these ones these are quite nice i like them and i even like this odd green that is um i can maybe see a christmas thing coming with this green what do you think what do you like best i'm not going to get it back in the box as they did because that was quite packed out just to recharge your memories that's a beautiful blue that that is you know i love blue but that is beautiful baby blue well, that was a nice little surprise today. I wasn't expecting that to arrive. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you like and um, what yarn did you used to use when you were um, first learning? I mean, you might have only just learned, but if you learned a long time ago, um, what are the yarns that you remember? Some of them have been revived like this one and um, Peter Pan got revived and Wendy. So it's good that they didn't die out and that they are there. Peyton's is still around, obviously, and Serdar. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye for now.